Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I wanna show you step-by-step -step how to create a landing page for a consultancy business. Now, this type of business can be done from home. So if you have any expertise in accounting or, or marriage, so you can do pretty much consultations. But the thing is, you need to have a way of capturing your leads so that you can send them emails at a later stage. Now, in this time that we're going through, this is the great opportunity to create a, an online business that you can run from home. So you can use your expertise to really do all these services online. So this is what the page looks like. Over here on the left, you have a video. So this is where you get to record a video of yourself talking about uh, the offer that you have, which in this case is a 30 minute free uh, session. And over here you have the description. Now, what I also do in this tutorial is I also show you how to capture these emails and link it with the service provider. Now, I've intentionally used uh, this text over here, this dummy text, because I want you to add your own title here. And uh, the same applies over here as well. So it doesn't have to be the 30 minutes. It can also be, let's say, for example, uh, something that's um, of value. So let's say you want to give away uh, 10 tips to, have to a great marriage, for example. You're giving it away for free so they can sign up over here. But if you want to do some consultation over video or over the telephone, this is how you'd capture their details. So it's a basic page. Over here on the bottom, it has these testimonials and I'll also show you how to add these testimonials. Very straightforward, but if you don't need them in case you're just starting off, you can just do very well with this first half. So the question is, how do you promote this? This is where now you tell as many people as you know about this service and you link them to this page. So you're going to uh, need to create this page from scratch, but you don't need to worry because I show you how to do it in this video. Now, before we continue, I'd also like to remind you that if you wanna learn how to design professional looking websites with Divi, I have an affiliate link in the video description below. If you use that to buy Divi, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to create professional looking websites with Divi. All right, I know I talk too much. Let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so over here now on my uh, WordPress computer, obviously with this, you're going to need to use Divi and there's a way to capture our emails. I'm using MailPoet and by the way, right now it has a special discount over at AppSumo. I have the link to that in the video description below. And again, it's an affiliate link. If you buy using that, uh, you'll also get access to my uh, email marketing course. All right, so let's dive in and let's create our page. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to add my new page. So I'm just gonna call this page, let's call this marriage 20%. So this is like a discount for the consultation. And then over here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my template. So you know, normally when we build our websites, it has the header and the footer, but for these type of landing pages, you don't want to have the header and the footer because it is very distracting. All right, so I'm gonna change here and choose blank template. Next, I'm going to click on use Divi Builder and then we're going to start building our page. Now for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on start building. All right, so the structure that I'm going to need here is two columns. I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Now the design that I have in mind for this is a video that sort of like entices people or just lets people know what your services are and the, the offer that you're giving. So here I'm gonna add a video module. So now I'm gonna select it. So right now I'm just gonna use the blank video that we have here that comes by default as a placeholder. In your case, you need to record a video and send it over to YouTube or Vimeo and you paste the URL here. Okay, so I'm gonna add an overlay image. So this image here is going to be an image uh, that works as the site that we're designing. So pretty much I've downloaded some images here. So let me just go to my downloads folder. Here it is. So these are royalty free images. So I'm just gonna select it, click open. Now you notice that I've added two images here. It's because I wanna make sure that I have the flexibility of choosing whichever we, uh, image that I want. Okay, so I'm gonna go with uh, this one here because this image pretty much just shows or gives us an idea of what the service is about. And you can see here, it looks like this too, you know, it's a consultancy type situation. Okay, next I'm going to come over here to design and I'm just gonna make a few tweaks here. So first of all, I need to uh, go to the play icon here and adjust the size because right now it's way too big. Bring it down to about 58 or maybe even down to about 54. 
And now I can change my color if I want to, but you know what? I think this looks great um, as white. Next, uh, I am going to add some rounded corners. So I'm gonna come over here to the border and I'm just gonna add four pixels here, just to add some rounded corners to my video. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it does that, but anyway, you know, it'll fix itself. Anyway, so over here now, I am going to add a bit of a title. So I'm gonna add a text module. And then I'm just gonna say over here, sign up below and get 30 minutes free. And I'm gonna explain in a little bit why you need to give uh, something away for free initially when you first set up your service. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to design and I'm going to go to my text here and let's make it bigger. So I'm gonna increase my size and I'm also gonna make it bold here. The color is okay as it is and I may want to center this. So let's go ahead and center it. There we go, so I'm gonna center it there and save. Next, we're going to need to add an email uh, opt-in. So I'm gonna search for opt-in and here it is. Now there's a bit of work that needs to be done here to be honest, so let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm gonna delete all this text here and I'm also going to delete the title. Now I'm also going to come over here to the fields and I don't really need the last name, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Now the first name is important, I'm gonna leave that as it is. And then I'm gonna come over here. In fact, before I go to the background, I'm gonna go over here to design and then let's work on our fields. So the easiest way to find it here is to just click on this brush tool and this will take you to the form fields. So here I need to uh, just change my colors. I'm gonna use that as my text, my fields text color and the fields background color. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way down here and I am going to add some borders around it. There we go, so two pixels and then my color. Let's go into this brush, uh, into the eyedropper tool and reduce this gray a little bit. So pretty much I'm happy with that. I may also go ahead and work on the button as well. So I'm gonna activate use custom styles for button and change my color. So my button text color here is going to be white. And then my button background color is going to be this bright color here. So it's easier to see. And also on the border color, I'm just gonna add that as well. All right, so that's looking great. So back over here on my text, I'm gonna leave it as light. And then let's go back and let's change the background color here now to white. Or you can just disable it altogether. So now you can see I have my email opt-in. So the next stage is to just add a bit of a description here. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and I'm going to add a text module. So this is where you want to add, you know, a brief description of what this service is and why they should sign up. And again, that information is very, very important. Next, I'm gonna come over here and click on text and we're gonna center it. All right, so that's looking great. And then I am going to save. So as you can see here, this form is, needs to be closer to the text. So I'm just gonna put my mouse just above this module and just drag up. Now this is my negative margin, right? So I think I'm happy with that. Right, so the next stage now is to just save this. And we are going to add another title here on the top. And to do that, we're gonna click here on this plus button and add a single column. And in that column, we're gonna add a text module and I'm gonna select it. So this is where now we need to add a large title. So I'm just gonna say, your main title goes here. Okay, so that's our main title. I'm gonna highlight it and set this to heading one. And then I'm gonna go over here to the design, design text, I'm gonna center it. And then I'm going to also going to change the color here. Okay, so let's save. Now let's drag this all the way up here to the top. Right, so now I'm gonna save this. And to be honest, the way this um, just distorts, it's really annoying. So I'm just going to uh, exit the visual builder here and then go back in again. So now you can see it's fixed itself. I don't know why it does that, to be honest. Uh, it's quite annoying, as I mentioned. 
Okay, so now you can see here that uh, we have a bit of an issue here because our form disappears. That is because it hasn't been set. So we need to set our form here in order for this form to work. Now, the reason why we need to set uh, an email opt-in here is because when someone comes on this page and they need to sign up for your services, you need to capture their name and email address because you need to be able to communicate with them later or even send them a reminder. So that's why it's important to have this here. Okay, so now let's continue here and just do a bit of a design uh, to our page. In fact, you know what? I'll just open a new tab. And we are going to go and set up our email opt-in. Right, so let's go ahead now and go to the dashboard. Now over here, as I mentioned, I have MailPoet. Now this is a great uh, email uh, uh, system. And this has a deal over at AppSumo. If you sign up, you get, uh, for $49, you get up to 5,000 uh, email subscribers for free, unlimited, and unlimited websites. So it's a fantastic deal. I go into more detail in a few videos. In fact, I'll link to the videos in the video description below. All right, so what we need to do now is to come over here to MailPoet. So the first thing we need to do is to add a list. So the list we need to do here, to add here, is a list for our members. So I'm gonna say here, uh, marriage 20%. Okay. So that's just to remind me that this is the list for anyone that signs up for the marriage, you know, consultants. Okay. So here now you can add a further description here. I'm going to save this. Now you're going to need a form because now, uh, because right now we've just added a list. Now we need the form. So I'm going to come over here to forms, click on add new and I'm gonna say marriage 20% as well. So that just reminds me uh, what the form is about. So here we can also add a field, because if you recall on our page here, we have, in fact, let me enable the visual builder so you can see it. On our page here, we have the name and email. So ideally you need to match this as well. So currently we just have the email. So let's add the name. So I'm gonna click here, click on this drop down for the fields, and then I'm gonna choose field name. And then I'm just gonna drag it over to the top so that it's above the email. Right, so now that we have this all set, over here you can make this a mandatory field. So you can just make sure that uh, they have to add the email over here. The label is fine, uh, first name. Now the next stage is, which is very important here, is to come over here to the form. And now you need to assign this to the list that we've just created. And the list is called a marriage 20%. So the form is marriage 20% and the list is um, marriage 20%. But of course you can name this whatever you want. I normally name them the same because it makes it easier for me to match them. So now that we have it here, pretty much that's all, we're done. I'm gonna save. So when someone signs up for this mailing list, you are going to be able to see all their, the list of subscribers. So I just wanna come over here and show you the lists that I have. So these are just demo lists you can see here. Um, I have my DV promo list. So it shows you the subscribers and here on the newsletter. So if you wanna see who the subscribers are, you can go in here into subscribers and this will show you all your subscribers. So. This is where you can send them the email or communicate with them that way. Okay, so now that we've set this information, I'm gonna come back over here now and we need to go into our, our opt-in. So in our opt-in, you need to link this DV form with the form that we created on MailPoet. And to do that, you wanna come over here to Mail uh, Account, click on this drop down, and then choose MailPoet. Next, you wanna come over here and choose the list. So as you can see here, it's not there. So you need to click here on add, and let's just give this an account name. Let's call this marriage, okay? Hit submit. So that's gonna be my account name. And you can see now, my list has now shown, and that's the marriage 20%. And you can see here, these are all the list that we have on um, MailPoet. So this is my current one. So marriage, I got marriage 20% there. Click on add. In fact, it's been added. Let's save that. Now, when I save this and I, ex and I exit the Visual Builder, the form is going to show. So I'm gonna hit exit. And now you can see our form shows. And if I come over here and I enter the name and email address, it will show, it will add the name and the email to the, to the list. And I've just noticed here that uh, this color here doesn't work for the background. Let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm gonna go back over here and we are going to fix this by 
going into our settings here and I know it's a design issue. So I'm gonna come over here to my fields. And as you can see here, my fields text color, I just need to change that and my fields background color, change that. Okay, so that's great. Now I noticed that my font here does not match with the rest of the design. So I'm just gonna come over here on this drop down and choose my font and save. So we need to add a bit of a design to this. So let's go ahead and add a background image here. So I'm gonna come over here, click on background, click on this plus button, and I'm going to choose my background image by coming over here to the third tab, click on this plus button, and let's add the same image that we've just used. I'm gonna click upload. Now here's what we're gonna do with this image. We're first gonna come over here to my first tab and add white as my background color. And then you wanna go back to this image here and let's add a blend. So we're gonna go with lighten. And then back over here now to our background color. We just wanna show just a little bit of this image here in the background. So there we go, just a tiny bit. So we're just using this image here as a design element here in the background. So as you can see here, that looks much better than, the, uh, than we had before. Next, uh, you may also want to add another section here, maybe with testimonials. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna duplicate this. So rather than um, spend time recreating it, I'm just gonna drag this over here. And let me create my regular section single column, and then I'm going to drag this into position, like that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in, and I'm just gonna name this testimonials, and I'm going to set this to heading three, because we don't want this to be as big as our main header over here. Okay, so now we need to center this. In fact, we can just leave it as it is, and then the next stage now is to add our testimonial. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add a testimonial module. And let me start uh, working on this now. So first of all, you want to add the name. So we can just say Jane Doe. And by the way, if you're just starting off and you don't have any testimonials to add here, you can just ignore this part because this main landing page here works fine. So I just wanna show you how that would look. Next, I'm gonna come over here to elements and I'm gonna get rid of this here, the quote. Right, so now I'm gonna add my image. So I'm gonna click here and let's go with, let's go with this image here. Upload that so you can see here our testimonial now has been added. Okay, so now that we have this all set, the next stage is to just go, come over here and duplicate this a few times. So as you can see, I've just added quite a few of these. And I can go into each and one of these now and change uh, the details. So here, in fact, let me save this. So let's say I need to go in and change the testimonial for this. I can just click here on this gear icon, go to the image, and then I can change this image to this guy. Upload, and give this guy a name by coming over here to text. And this guy can be Jack Doe, how about that? Great, so as you can see, it's very easy to go in and uh, customize this. So here are your testimonials, this is your landing page, and that looks great. Now finally, you just need to add a bit of padding over here, so normally I just use 100, and I use this on both sides, both the top and the bottom. So now I'm gonna click on this chain, and now I've added my padding to my section. Now finally, I know I keep saying finally, let's take a look at how this looks on the tablet. And you can see here that everything is in place and it looks great. Over here on the phone as well, the layout looks great. So pretty much this is our landing page and this is how you set this up. Now, if you want to uh, use this template, it's pretty much a drag and drop. I'm going to link this template in the video description below. So if you wanna use it for your own designs, you can pretty much go to the blog post and download it. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.